So two is the time now. Two bills aimed at improving veteran care are closer to becoming law this morning. That's right. We are told that one of those bills will provide the funding that the VA needs to build that brand new facility on the south side, the Princess Anne area. That is very good news for so many people. According to Senator Mark Warner's office, the patient visits to the Hampton VA increased 21.4 percent between 2012 and 2016. That is three times the national average of veterans needing care, which stands at 7.3 three percent. I spoke with Senator Warner around 11 o'clock yesterday morning and he told us what this funding means for our region. And more importantly for Hampton Roads is finally going to get us the funds to build this new 155,000 square foot facility to, on the south side so that so many of the region's veterans will not have to go through the tunnel to go up to Hampton to get their services. OK, so right now a scheduled 2020 opening. The groundbreaking is this October. We'll let you know the day. But the bill also allocates a two billion dollars, a two billion dollars to the VA choice program, which would have gone bankrupt this month. That allows veterans to seek care at a local doctor instead of waiting for an appointment at a VA facility. President Trump is expected to sign this bill into law.